Hi, I'm Ida, also known as Tamtik, and I'm gonna talk about the importance of game design for indie games. So, I know it kind of sounds obvious, but it actually isn't, or at least it wasn't for me until I just finished, until I first finished my uh, first commercial indie game uh, not that long ago. So, yeah, my first commercial indie game, which I just finished, is called Carnival Quest, and it's not the most innovative game in the world. Like it's basically a pretty traditional roguelike. And before doing it, I used to think that, you know, in order to make a game, you need programmers and graphics artists and musicians and that stuff. And game designers aren't that important. And in a way, it's kind of the case if, if you're making a genre game or if, or if you're making games that like a clone of another game are just not that innovative but if you really want to break the mold and if you really want to do something new uh, game design is actually pretty important like it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to quantify how much work is spent on game design versus other stuff because game design is mostly just thinking or you know just writing some stuff and like generally if, you, if, you, if you're making a genre game you, you don't need invest that much effort in, in in the design phase you invest a lot more effort in like programming and making graphics and stuff because you know especially if, if you got a couple of games that really inspire you you, you can kind of get away with copying a lot from, from those um, it's not something that, that I think you should do I mean yeah I'm, I'm, I'm ma made I kind of did that with Carnal Quest and was very highly inspired by the old D&D &D. And to a large effect, that I did that because like, there's really few roguelikes that I can that I actually find that I'm capable of playing. Just because, as a genre, they're not, it's not that it's like there's, there's not really a lot of focus on uh, ease of use and good interface and generally good user experience. Like in you have like NetHack, which has like 20 keyboard commands and ASCII graphics and stuff like that. So anyway, my point was, um, what really made me change my mind about it is actually coming up with Carnal Quest and seeing afterwards that it's actually not very innovative. I mean, I, I should have probably seen it beforehand when I was studying, but it only became obvious to me after I made it that it's actually, it might be like a decent game, and I, like I'm proud of this game, it's the first game I actually, like game of significant size that I've finished by myself. I mean, I've, I've been working as a programmer for 10 years now, and I've worked on games in a commercial environment, and uh, I've done a lot of free games like Ludum Dower and Seven Day Roguelike Challenge and stuff like that. My kind of quest was the first uh, game I finished by myself that took more than a week. And I succeeded in, in the fact that it is a roguelike that I can play, and that people aren't usually playing roguelikes I will to play because it, it's it looks pretty nice and has uh, good controls and pretty intuitive to play but yeah I think if you really want to do something innovative you really need to invest more effort in game design and it's hard because again it just it doesn't lo look like working but it is working uh, even if it just means you know just having a lot of downtime and just thinking about games and thinking about design before you start coding and before you start programming so that's it. Bye.